it's finally this week. Where should we go for a trip? Hey, Rebecca. About the trip? Huh? What is it? Is something wrong? Are you feeling sick? Or you got hurt? No, it's just... What? What's wrong? Actually, Mom wants to go on a trip with us. What? What do you mean? Your mother wants to come? I told her that we are going on a trip this weekend. And she said she wants to come too. You're kidding. Of course you said no, right? It's our first trip together. There's no way your mother is coming with us. And you're not a mommy's boy. Huh? I said yes. There's no reason to say no. I've already called the hotel and got another room. Just because we're traveling together doesn't mean I'm a mommy's boy. What? Mom and I will be staying in the same room so you can relax by yourself. Hold on. That's how a mommy's boy is. It was supposed to be just the two of us, right? Well, that was the plan at first. But she said she wanted to go, so I had no choice. We'll still go together, so why not? I'm surprised that she's coming. But what's even more surprising is that you are sleeping with her and I'm alone. What does that mean? Is there any point in me going? Is it weird? If mom's coming, it's normal for me to sleep with her. Oh, no. How can that be? And there's no law that says a mother can't come together on vacation, right? Of course there's no such law. But where in the world would anyone bring their parents on a date? I'm totally fine with it. Well, I guess there's also a problem on your mother for asking us to come along. I can't believe she'd follow her son on a date. What is she thinking? Don't say bad things about my mom. I'll get mad even if it's you. Huh? She's trying to follow me because she's worried about me. That's love, isn't it? She's following me because she doesn't trust you in the first place. What do you mean by trust? She can't leave me to you. If you don't want her to follow me, you have to earn her trust. What is that? You're an adult. You can take care of yourself, so it's not like she is leaving you to me. You should have been independent long ago. Mom takes good care of me. She hasn't trained you yet, so she has no choice but to follow me around. Wait a minute. Timothy, you still make your mother take care of you? I don't feel good about that. And what do you mean she hasn't trained me yet? She said, if you come to be my wife, she'll train you for all the things she has done for me, so that I wouldn't get in trouble. It's obvious. I never said I'd marry you. I'm not thinking about it right now. I don't want to quit my job. I still have a lot of things I want to do. I want to get married and have kids soon. You love me, right? Then you'll put up with it for me, right? I can't. I told you to wait for marriage, didn't I? Let's put that aside. Please, please tell her no. I can't. She's already getting ready for the trip. Okay, then I won't go. You and your mother can go together. What's that? Don't be selfish. She said she'll come with us. What's wrong with that? Why don't the three of us just have fun? I can't have fun. I'm very unsatisfied. 
There's no way she is coming with us on our first trip. Anyway, if she's coming, I'm not going. If you cancel the trip, you'll have to pay for the cancellation. Who's going to pay for that? I'll pay it. Let me know when they charge you the fee. What the hell? You were the one who wanted to go on a trip, so I made this plan. What a selfish woman. I'm very disappointed. I said, I wanted to go with you. I don't remember saying okay for a parent or guardian to come. With a guardian? I'm not a kid. Don't be ridiculous. You're as good as a kid when your mother comes with you. She's your guardian, right? Fine. You don't have to come with us. I'm going to enjoy with mom, so don't complain later on. I don't want to go on a trip that I'm not going to enjoy. Have fun with your mother. Bye. I'll charge you for the cancellation fee. Yes, yes, fine. There have been times when my mother-in-law has accompanied us on dates, but I believed Timothy would choose me in the end. But I guess I was wrong. This time, I realized that I could not win against her, and I was sure that it was time for me to think about how to move on. We weren't in touch for about a month, but one day when I came home from work and went to bed, my phone dinged. When I looked at the screen, it was filled with messages and missed calls from him. Rebecca, are you at work now? I need to talk to you. Call me as soon as you get the message. Hey, Rebecca, are you still working? Answer me. Sorry, I'm done working, but I was so tired and fell asleep. I just woke up. Working until this late? I'm glad I didn't marry you. Huh? Why? What's wrong? I know it's sudden, but I'm getting married. The wedding is this fall. What? What do you mean you're getting married? Why so sudden? Who on earth are you getting married to? A girl graduated from a famous university. She's going to quit her job and take care of the family. She's my dream girl. Mom likes her and says I should marry her instead of you. Wait a minute. How long have you been seeing this girl? About three months, I think. Mom was so worried about me that she arranged a blind date. What? That's when we were dating. You mean you were cheating on me? I can't believe it. Actually, you're the one who cheated on me in this situation. Because I'm marrying her. Huh? How could you? Is it because I wanted a time to marry you? Could be. To be honest, I preferred you, but mom said no. So I'm following her. Mommy, mommy, mommy. Why do you let her decide everything when it's about you? You mommy's boy? Don't call me a mommy's boy. Mom is a great person who brought me into this world. So it's only natural that she decides what to do with me, right? Is that okay with you, Timothy? What about your opinion? That I said I preferred you? You don't have to worry. Mom told me I could keep you as my girlfriend. What? A girlfriend? Are you making fun of me? How terrible! I'm not making fun of you. I love you, Rebecca. Even if we can't get married, you can stay with me. Is there a problem? That's enough for me. Huh? 
Don't be ridiculous. I don't want to be with you in that situation. I would like to step aside. You can't do that. I'll miss you. I'm saying I'll make you my girlfriend. I don't want to be your girlfriend after you cheat on me. Don't make fun of me. I'm not making fun of you. But she got pregnant so I can't cancel the marriage. Rebecca, you would understand, right? How can I understand? I don't even want to understand. And she's pregnant? Forget it. Let's break up. There's no reason for us to stay together. Oh no, I don't want to break up with you. You're not planning to get married, right? We share the same interests. Are you an idiot? We don't have common interests at all. And it's none of my business when you don't want to break up with me. Don't say cold things. I love you so much. I'm not interested in people who cheat on their partners. Please be happy with her. Well then, goodbye. Take care. Wait a minute. Hey, Rebecca. Unbelievably, Timothy was dating someone that his mother recommended when we were dating. Plus, the partner got pregnant and he asked me to be his girlfriend because his mother told him so. This is beyond insane. What kind of parenting has she done? I said goodbye to him and tried to start a new life. But he was so stubborn that he came to my office and home several times. Of course, I just kept sending him away each time. A year later, when I was finally able to lead a fulfilling life at work and in my private life, the nightmare returned. Rebecca, long time no see. It's me, Timothy. Timothy, it's been a while. Can I help you? Don't talk to me like that. That's too cold. It's you and I. That relationship ended a year ago. I'd like you to leave me alone now. What can I do for you? That's a terrible thing to say. I brought you good news today. Good news? I'm divorced. What do you think? What do you mean what I think? It's not of my business, and... So, you're not happy about it? No? Why would I be happy? Because... You came to the position to be my bride again. You have a chance to come back to me. How can you not be happy? Um, I don't understand what you're talking about. I haven't thought about you once since we broke up. To be honest, it's annoying. Rebecca, you don't have to pretend to be tough anymore. You have to make the most of your chance. You may never get a chance like this again, you know. I don't need such a chance at all. Is it true you're divorced? Yeah, that bitch. She tricked mom and me. Tricked you? She married me because she was pregnant. But I wasn't the father of her child. She tried to raise another man's child as mine. Unforgivable, isn't it? What? Really? I'm surprised at you and your mother. But I'm also surprised at your ex-wife. After the baby was born, Mom said he didn't look like me. So she had us tested. The results showed no parent-child relationship. Apparently, it was the child of her boss at the company she worked for. This is terrible. Oh. 
That boss was married and he had to hide the affair. So she decided to have a child with me since we were planning to get married. I didn't think she was that kind of a woman. I knew I should have married you. No, I don't think that would have happened either. You went through a lot. I know. Mom got so angry that she collapsed and was hospitalized. That bitch refused to divorce me, so we couldn't settle the matter at all. Oh, I see. I have nothing to do with that, though. We finally got divorced the other day. Now you can be free. Hey, I'm already free, and I'm not interested in your divorce. I have no interest in getting involved with you. So if you'll excuse me. Wait, wait. Don't say that. I want you to come back to me. After all, I need you. Please don't joke around. Let me politely decline your request. Mom is in the hospital, so let's go on a trip. Just the two of us. I'll take you wherever you want. No, thank you. I'm going on a trip now. Traveling alone? You must be lonely, so I'll go with you. Which station are you at? V Airport. And don't worry, I'm not alone. My husband is here with me. I'm with my love. Huh? Husband? Hey, you don't have to show off, okay? You're going to marry me, right? We had our wedding yesterday. We're at the airport today for our honeymoon. Please don't disturb us anymore. Oh no, that's a lie, right? You said you didn't want to get married. I said I didn't want to get married because you told me to quit my job and take care of the family. Huh? That's obvious. It's natural for a woman to get married and take care of a family. That's why I can never marry you. My husband told me that I don't have to quit my job until our child is born. And besides, he helps me with the housework. Nowadays, couples have to cooperate with each other to live together. <laughs> of course, he said I can continue to work if there is a place to take care of the baby. I'll be able to live my life as I am without having to put up with anything. <laughs> But that's not going to raise a good child, is it? Isn't it a mother's duty to be with her child 24-7 and educate him? That's what my mom has always done. And you are the result, right? That may have been true for your family, but we want to raise our child in a carefree way. Please don't impose your image of education on us. No way. Rebecca, please, come back. I'm sure two divorced people will get along just fine. I'm sorry I left you and I apologize. Two divorced people? You're so rude. I just got married. And I don't need such a heartless apology. Please find a woman who understands your educational theory. Rebecca, I don't want to. What should I do? Mom is in the hospital and I can't rely on dad. Besides, she can't speak properly because of the after effects. This is a good chance for you to leave from her. Why don't you walk on your own feet? I hope you do your best. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time to board. Oh no, wait, Rebecca. Don't abandon me. After that, Timothy came to the office once and made a fuss to tell about where I was traveling to. I was surprised that he hadn't given up. Perhaps because they called the police and had them deal with the situation, 
he has not been involved with me since then. I heard that he has been attending blind dates and parties. However, there were many complaints from the women who attended it. And I heard that he was banned from some parties. <laughs> that must be true. It's not of my business, though. On the other hand, I was able to marry a wonderful and understanding husband, and I am living a fulfilling life while I work. Hey, Tina, I heard the big news. Is it true? Are you really going to get married? Oh, wow, Jess, it's been so long since I last heard from you. But yes, it's actually true. We're going to try and have the wedding before the end of the year. Wow, really? Oh, that's coming up quickly, though. Honestly, I really am surprised, though. You used to be so shy and fat and ugly when we were in school together. In fact, I think it's just unforgivable that you think you can even get married before me. Wait, what? Uh, I'm sorry, what is all this all of a sudden? I get that you want to try and show that you're better than me by getting married first, but I just think that makes your wedding all the more sad. Honestly, did you really think that this would change the fact that you're still the same shy little downer that you always were? Do you really think that I'm getting married just so that I can brag about it to you? And why do you keep bringing up how I was in high school? And not only that, but who do you think you are to tell me whether I can or can't get married? You don't need to get so mad about it. I'm only being honest with you. After all, you've always been in my shadow ever since we were little kids. It's not just high school. All throughout our childhood, you could never once manage to outshine me. But I guess you think that this is your shot, huh? Jess, I really don't even know what to say to this. You don't actually think that's why I'm getting married, do you? Honestly, part of me can't even blame you for what you're trying to get away with here, but I still think that it's just pathetic. After all, I am clearly the much prettier, popular, all-around better one out of the two of us. So with that said, why don't you just give up on this silly wedding business? After all, I doubt that whoever you're going to marry can even be all that great since he's marrying you. Okay, Jess, you really are going too far. You don't need to start insulting my fiancé now. He is a really kind, sweet guy who cares a lot about me, and I won't let you badmouth him. So he's kind and sweet and cares a lot? Basically, what you're telling me is that you are going to marry someone ugly then, huh? Because who else would want to marry a woman like you? I doubt that this guy is even all that great. Probably just some loser who only has a part-time job at a grocery store or something. Jess, you literally have no idea what you're talking about, so please stop making so many assumptions about my fiancé. I'm just saying the only man I would ever let marry me would have to be working for a huge company and have a great salary. In fact, if you really want to know, I'm dating someone right now who is quite high up in the management for Orange Industries. Well, I didn't ask, I don't really want to know, and it's clear that you're just trying to gloat. But I'm afraid if that's who you're dating, your attempt to brag failed. What are you talking about? Are you saying that you're with someone even better than that? Well, it's just that my fiancé also works for Orange Industries, and last I heard, you work there as well, don't you? Hold on a second, are you serious about that? Please tell me that's some kind of a joke. Your fiancé really works at Orange? That's right. The guy that you said couldn't have anything but a part-time job is one of your co-workers. And his name is Josh, if you really want to know. You can probably guess who he is now, though. In fact, he's a branch director, so I wouldn't be surprised if you were actually working for him. Hold on a second, you're telling me you're going to marry Josh Beck? As in THE Josh Beck? That's who you're going to marry? Don't tell me that you do actually know him. Wow, I was only guessing that you might have, but I guess I was right. No, this can't be right. I don't understand. Josh is all mine. He can't be marrying you. That's impossible. Not only are you going to be getting married before me, but you're going to try and take my man away from me, too? You think you can just have an affair with another woman's man, get hitched, and get away with that? Hold on just a second there. What do you mean that my Josh is also your Josh? You don't actually mean that you two are dating as well, do you? Of course we're dating. Who else did you think I was talking about when I said I was dating a man from Orange? I mean, Josh is the perfect package. He's handsome, smart, so young, and yet so high up in the company. How dare he choose some loser like you over me? 
Josh, pick up the phone right this instant. I am dead serious. Are you cheating on me? We are this close to narrowing down our wedding day, so please tell me this isn't happening. You're not actually going out with Jess behind my back, are you? Tina, what in the world are you talking about? Do you really think that I'm cheating on you? Who's this even coming from? Who in the world is Jess? Jess is a girl that I've known ever since I was little. She reached out to me when we were talking and... Uh, she told me that she was dating you after I told her that you and I were engaged. Wait, what? Did this lady really say that about us? Are you serious? Yes, it's all true. She told me that you both worked at Orange Industries and that you were having a secret office romance. Well, uh, Tina, you have to believe me when I say that I've never, ever cheated on you. I mean, I didn't even know that we had a Jess working in the office. Or at least certainly not in the department that I directly manage. But she said that she worked at the same company with you and even said that you were the branch director. Hold on a sec, are you talking about Jess Jones? It's in the temp that we hired? You two are childhood friends? Well, I wouldn't say that we're exactly friends, and I also have no idea if she's working as a temp or not. Okay. Well, the only Jess that I know of working under me is Jess the temp. Well, I'd never really guessed that she'd pop up in my personal life like this. To think that she was really trying to say that her and I were dating, that's just crazy. Why do you say it like that? Did something happen between the two of you at work or something? Yeah, I mean, I didn't really want to talk about this, but I guess now I really have no choice. But the thing is that her and I had a little trouble with each other earlier on. She kept telling other people in the office that her and I were going out as well, but it just was not true. You have to know that I'm telling the truth. You're kidding me. So you mean she's been telling other people this same thing? Yeah, but I guess maybe she wanted to try bragging to you since you two go way back. I don't want to sound rude, but she very much struck me as someone who looks down on others just because she's pretty. In fact, all of the temps that we ended up hiring were already married, so I always wondered if that's why she was telling people that we were together and engaged. I don't even know what to say to that. That's just completely unhinged behavior. What is the matter with Jess? I mean, I told her to stop spreading those rumors, and I always tried to correct what she told people, but I can't keep an eye on her all the time. And, you know, she always was such a prideful person, even when we were in school together. I'm not really surprised that she refused to stop even after you asked her to. I remember she used to make up stories about dating popular boys at our school just to make herself look better. But then the truth would always come up, and the guy would always be so clueless when asked if he was really dating Jess. Wow. It sounds to me like she's probably gotten pretty good at telling this same story. I wouldn't be surprised if it's something she's had a lot of practice with. And I don't suppose there's any chance that you could transfer her somewhere else, right? I just really don't know how I feel about the two of you working too close together. Who knows what she'll try next? Well, I don't think that you have anything to worry about. You see, Jess's contract actually runs up this month, so... After that, she'll have to go and find another job. Oh, really? Oh, that's a huge relief to hear. Thank goodness. Yeah. Uh, typically, we hire our Thames, but HR's report on her is just filled with misconduct, spreading rumours around the office, and her output of work is just so far below the peers she was hired with. And obviously, we've tried lots of things to convince her to improve her quality of work, but whatever we say seems to go in one ear and out the other. So for now, our strategy has been to be pretty hands-off until the contract runs up. Oh, I see. Well, it sounds to me like that's the best thing to do to prevent any kind of drama from unfolding. And I just want to say that I am so sorry for accusing you of cheating on me before. Oh, Tina, I have to say I was really surprised, but I understand now that we've talked out. Anyways, I've got to get back to it. Talk to you soon. What is the matter with you? Why did you stop reading my texts? You know I can see when you've opened them, right? Anyways, I wasn't telling you how you don't deserve to get married before me. You do know that, right? 
Oh, Jess, I am so, so sorry to leave you like that. I was just talking to Josh a little about all of this. And he made it clear to me that you two have absolutely nothing going on. In fact, it sounds like he's actually actively trying to avoid you. Wait, what? Did he really say that? But of course he and I are dating. You really just need to give this a rest. I talked to Josh and he cleared up this whole thing for me. He told me all about how you've been spreading rumors all over the office that you two were together. But you really shouldn't be using people like that to try and fluff up your own reputation at work. Okay, well, sure, at first, when I started telling people about us, it was all a lie, but then Josh and I really did start going out and it stopped being a lie. He even proposed to me and we're supposed to be getting married. What in the world are you talking about? I mean, I can still remember the day he did it. I had no idea he could be so angry. He called me into his office and yelled at me about something to do with work or something and... That's when I felt it, the love that we had for each other. Love? What part of that sounds like love to you? Well, I went into his office and he had this really stern look on his face, and he asked me to quit lying to people around the office about us. But that means that he was telling me it wasn't a lie anymore and that we were going out together. Are you kidding me? Is that really what you got out of that statement? Of course it is, and he talked to me about how my contract is going to be coming up soon, and how he and I should get married, but he really has such a subtle way with words. Jess, I have no idea what it is that he actually said to you, but I can guarantee that is not what he meant. I don't know what's going on in that head of yours, but it is not living in the same reality as everyone else. I don't know what to tell you. After all, Josh and I are already going to be getting married next month. I've already made my appointments to get my hair done and everything. I mean, the only thing that I can't wrap my head around is why you thought that you ever had a chance with a man like Josh. What are you talking about? You are literally delusional. Why can't you just wake up? <laughs> Man, you are such a sore loser. Do you know that? You're just jealous because I have Josh and you don't, and you're finally having to come to terms with that. Are you kidding me? You're the one who has no idea at all about what you're talking about. But don't worry. I'll still send you an invitation to our wedding just so that you'll finally see that I'm telling the truth. Hey, when are you finally going to show up here? You really have got some nerve if you think I'll let you miss this. What are you even talking about right now, Jess? In fact, where is everybody? Even Josh's parents aren't here yet. In fact, I'm the only one here at all. Maybe everyone just got lost finding the place and are all going to show up soon? Wait, hold on a second. Show up where? Why are you waiting for Josh's parents? What do you mean, where am I? I'm at the wedding venue that Josh picked out for us to get married in. I'm here in my white dress waiting for the wedding party. But Hawaii isn't all that big, so I don't get how everyone is late like this. Wait a minute, you're in Hawaii right now? Well, duh, I told Josh that's where I wanted to get married, and he told me that he would make it happen. I really am so proud of him for doing this for me while he was so busy with work. It's always been my dream to get married in some kind of beautiful place like this, and now it's finally coming true. I don't even know what to say. I really hope this is some kind of big joke for your sake, though. Did you really fly all the way to Hawaii to get married? Um, hello? Haven't you been reading any of the texts that I've been sending you just now? So, anyways, are you almost here? The wedding is going to start soon, and I am still waiting for everyone to show up. I don't get how they could all be this late. Well, I don't know what to tell you, but we're all still in the city, and that's where our wedding is happening. So we're all still here back home. Nobody's going to Hawaii to see you get married. Wait, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? That can't be right. I'm not getting married in the city. But if you're telling me that everyone's got the wrong address and is still in the city, then I'm going to be really mad. Seriously, what are you even talking about? I really just had no idea you would even take things this far. I mean, 
mean, how did you actually get on a plane to Hawaii without realizing what a huge mistake you were making? Mistake? No, no, you're misunderstanding. I'm where I'm supposed to be. Everyone else made the mistake because they're still not here yet. I'm still waiting for everyone to show up here for my big Hawaiian wedding. Jess, this is the last time I'll say this. You and I are not getting married. Nobody is going to Hawaii. Now, please, just stop this. Mr. Beck, is that you? It is. And honestly, at this point, I have to say that I think I'm scared of you more than anything. I mean, to be so wrapped up in your delusions that you flew all the way to Hawaii. I think you should go and find a therapist or something. Josh, how could you say that about me? That is so rude. And just why are you texting me from Jess's number? You're supposed to be here for our wedding. Did you not read my message? I'm not marrying you, and I never, ever was. The only person I'm getting married to today is Tina. No, you're wrong. You're marrying me, and I'm going to be your housewife and never have to work another day in my life. That's why you said that you weren't going to be hiring me after my contract ran out, right? Because we're getting married. I seriously don't even know how to answer that. I told you we weren't hiring you because you've been a terrible employee. You've been telling everyone we're together after I asked you not to, and now you're harassing my fiancé. You've ignored everything I've been trying to tell you and insisting that your version of reality is the correct one. Wait a second, you mean that you've really been mad at me this whole time? Of course, I've been mad with you. But after a while I just gave up because I realised there's no point in talking to you. But anyways, I've got my own wedding to hurry about here, so I don't have time to deal with your craziness anymore. So good luck getting back home. I hope you brought a return ticket. Wait, no, this can't be happening to me. We were supposed to be getting married. You're supposed to be all mine. You can't do this to me. You can't just leave me here. You're supposed to be mine. All mine. Apparently, Jess hasn't bought a return ticket because she thought that Josh and her were going to go on their honeymoon right after the wedding. She had also spent all of her money on nice clothes and getting her makeup done for the wedding, also thinking that she's going to be able to rely on Josh for his money. By the time she finally flew back here, it was clear that she had been through quite a lot. She looked an absolute mess. The last thing that Josh ever did for her was to send a company vehicle to pick her up from the airport and drive her home. On the way there, Jess had it explained to her that her position with the company was terminated as her contract had finished. In the end, Jess ran to her parents to beg them for help. But they were just as aware of her delusions as the rest of us and refused to play along. In fact, they offered to let Jess live with them if she sought out psychiatric help for her issues. Jess insisted nothing was wrong with her, and without a job, money, or anywhere else to go, she had to say yes. I can only hope that with her parents' love and some good therapy, that Jess can realize the mess she made of her own life. As for Josh and I, we got married without any issues and continue to live happily as husband and wife. We blocked Jess and everything, changed our number, and Josh even put in a request to manage a different branch so that we could move. With any luck, that's the last we'll ever hear from Jess.